Welcome this morning for our service of morning prayer. Uh, those with us online, we have links for you to follow along uh, for this service. Those who are here with us will be following the service outlined in the Book of Common Prayer. So our service will begin on page 40 in the Book of Common Prayer with our service for The hour cometh and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Our service will continue now on page 22 in the Book of Common Prayer with the Invitatory and Psalter. Page 42. The inventory and so on. Stand as you are able. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. We'll all say together, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our service will now continue on page 45 in the Book of Common Prayer with the Jubilate. Page 45 in the Book of Common Prayer with the Jubilate. We say the words of the Jubilate together in unison. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be sure that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth from generation to generation. service now continues with the psalm appointed for today, which is Psalm 72, found on page 685 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 72, found on page 800, sorry, 685 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 72, page 685. We will say Psalm 72 together in unison. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously and in the horror with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people. He shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like sowers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace to the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. His foes shall bow down before him, and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of the isles shall pay tribute, and the kings of Arabia and Saba offer gifts. All kings shall bow down before him, and all the nations do in his service. For he shall deliver the poor who cries out in distress, and the oppressed who has no power. He shall have pity on the lowly and the poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, 
and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and may there be given to him gold from Arabia. May prayer be made for him always, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of rain on the earth, growing thick even on the hilltops. May its roots flourish like Lebanon, and its grain like grass upon the earth. May his name remain forever, and be established as long as the sun endures. May all the nations bless themselves and him, and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, God of Israel, who alone does wondrous deeds, and blessed be his glorious name forever, and may all the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. We'll all say together, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be ever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. When evening came, the boat was brought out on the sea. Jesus was alone on the land. And he saw the disciples were making headway painfully. The wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. For they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, have no fear. And he got into the boat with them. The wind ceased. They were utterly astonished. For they did not understand about the loaves, and their hearts were hardened. And when they had crossed over, they came to land at Jezreel and moored to the shore. And when they got out of the boat, immediately the people recognized him and ran about the whole neighborhood, began to bring sick people on their pallets any place where they heard he was. Wherever he came, villages, cities, countries, they laid the sick in marketplaces, besought him that they might touch even the fringe of his garment. As many as touched it were made well. The word of the Lord. Our service continues now on page 52 in the Book of Common Prayer with Canticle 6, Glory Be to God, also known as Gloria. We will say Canticle 6 found on page 52 in the Book of Common Prayer. Glory be to God on high and on earth peace goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. 
Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our service now continues on page 53 of the Book of Common Prayer with the Apostles. Let us say the words of our faith, the Apostles' Creed, on page 53, together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our service now continues on page 54. Book of Common Prayer with prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Continue our service now on page 55 in the Book of Common Prayer, with suffrages form B. Suffrages form B. I'll say the part with the B by it, and you all will say the part with the R for response. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Cover them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name ever world with thy man. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us. As our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Continue now with the collars. O God, the King Eternal, who dividest the day from the night and turnest the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep thy law, and guide our feet to the way of peace, that having done thy will with cheerfulness while it was day, the day when the night cometh, Rejoice to give thee thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, and knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us thy humble servants in all assaults of our enemies. We surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversary. The might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we may fall into no sin, and run into any kind of danger, that we, being ordered by thy governance, may do always what is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Heavenly Father, in whom we live and move and have our being, we humbly pray thee so to guide and govern us by thy Holy Spirit. All the cares and occupations of our life may not forget thee, and may remember that we are ever walking in thy sight. Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O 
Lord Jesus Christ, who did stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace. So clothe us in thy spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, the honor of thy name. Amen. Now I invite you at this time to hold up your prayers, whether aloud or within your hearts, or even in the comments for this video. Lord, for these and all other prayers in our hearts and minds, we hold them up to thee, thy son's most holy name. And now turning to page 58 in the Book of Common Prayer, we conclude our service with the prayer, the Great Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignably hateful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Now let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all.